guys, today I'm doing another Halloween tutorial and this is like a robotic girl and my skin is ripping so you can see my robotic insides and um, I got inspired off Pinterest, you've probably seen this on Pinterest, I'll show you the picture that I was going off of, I gotta pull it up because that's what I was looking at. It was this picture right here. I thought this looked super cool, so I tried to recreate it with my own spin on it. So if you like to see how to do this look on my face right now, just keep on watching. The first thing you want to do is apply a glue stick over your eyebrows so that your eyebrows can lay flat so that when you put the silver on, it'll look like you have no eyebrows at all. And now I'm going to put some Elmer's non-toxic glue on my skin. You can either use that or latex, but I don't have any latex, so I'm just going to use Elmer's glue and tissue paper. And I'm going to add one layer of tissue paper because I want the tissue paper to lay as flat as possible so that it can blend with my skin. And I'm just going to add the tissue paper and glue all the way around my eye. You can make this bigger or smaller, however you would like to do is fine. And now I'm going to add some glue over the tissue paper so that it can be nice and smooth. So just add more Elmer's glue on top of the tissue paper. And now I'm going to let this dry completely before I put on the foundation. And I'm going to use the True Blend from CoverGirl. And I'm going to add that all over my face and also on top of the tissue paper and glue mixture. Even though it is a little bit lighter because of the tissue paper is white, so it makes my skin look lighter. But I tried my best to blend. And I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay Powder to powder my face so that I can have like a matte finish because this foundation is super dewy. And now I'm going to peel up the fake skin so that it looks like my skin was ripped. And now I'm going to add some silver face paint. And I'm going to put this all into the circle so that it looks like I am a robot or an android. And I'm going to add a silver eyeshadow and put that on top of the cream makeup so that it can set. And now I'm going to line my lids um, and then I'm going to wing it out so that I have like more a robotic looking face. And um, I'm not very good at winged eyeliner, but I try my best every single time I do it. And I'm going to line my bottom lash line as well. And now I'm going to start making the metal pieces on my face so that it looks like I'm just like put together with all these complex metals and stuff so I'm just um free handing this well kind of I'm kind of looking off of the Pinterest picture and I'm just um recreating that so you can do whatever design you would like um just put your own spin on it just make it look very choppy and PC like um, a whole bunch of metal pieces within your face so just keep making lines and lines all over your face and then I added random dots on my face as well so it looks like bolts and screws and stuff so I'm, I'm adding like a screw right now and I'm gonna add another screw on well near my eyebrow where it used to be and then I'm gonna do some shading as well with some black eyeshadow and now I'm going to do the other side of my face just a simple makeup look like an everyday makeup look so i'm just filling in my eyebrows and then i'm going to use these three colors from the coastal scents neutral palette um i just really like these colors i'm just going to use the lighter color on my brow bone the medium shade on my eyelid and then the deep brown reddish brown into my crease so that it's just a very natural looking eyeshadow look and now I'm going to line my lids and also wing this side as well so that it kind of matches the opposite side, the robot side, so it doesn't look super, like, wonky. So I'm just going to line my lids and then do my bottom lash line. And now I'm just going to add this Revlon lip stain on my lips. I think it's Smolder Home or something like that, but I'll put the name in the description box. And yeah, so just put that on your lips. 
the finished look. You can do red lips or silver lips. I think both of them would work really, really well with this look. And if you have latex, I believe it'll look better. Um, so it'll have like a smoother edge. So it looks more realistic. But I do not have latex, so I used what I had. But um, this is what it turned out to be. I hope you guys enjoyed the Halloween tutorial. And I'll see you guys in my next one. See ya!